So now that you've purchased your hosting and domain name, let's get them talking to one another. So inside of Flywheel here, you'll see a few things. Um, one, it says the site is privacy mode turned on. That's forced on until you pay for it. But since we paid for this, you can change or remove it anytime. So let's go ahead and turn that off just so we don't forget. Uh, this will allow Google and others to see your site, but no one's really going to find it for a while until you start producing content. So it's not worth worrying about that. Um, next, we're going to add a domain to it because right now our main domain is bloggingcourse.flywheelsites.com. We want a real domain on it. So we'll add a domain and we know our domain is bloggingcourse.us is the one we bought. So we want that to be the primary domain. And yes, go ahead and add www. So if people type that in, they get to you as well. We certainly want that. So let's add that domain. So that way, when we point the domain over here, Flywheel will know which account to attach it to. So it's going to say, ah, this one has that, that account. And lastly, we need this IP address here. So this, this IP right here, this 45.55, it can be a little hard to grab sometimes. We're going to copy that, copy that set of numbers there, and head over to your Google domain. So we got to tell Google domains to point the domain over to that IP address. So just copy that number there. In Google domains, click on your domain name. So I've clicked on bloggingcourse.us, and I see a whole bunch of things we can do here. There's just two small things we need to do. And again, this can be a little weird the first time, but it's really not too bad. So we click on DNS. Uh, it stands for Domain Name Services, um, Domain Name Servers. Uh, we want to tell it where to go. Now, you can change all the servers somewhere else, but using Google's is just fine. We just want to add one record saying, hey, if someone tries to pull up the website, go to Flywheel instead. So way at the bottom here is Custom Resource Records. So if anyone types in anything, it's an A record is what you have first. And what is the IP address? We'll paste it in there. Make sure you don't get an extra space at the beginning or end. So we have that. So we say, hey, go to that IP address for the site. It says it'll take effect within 48 hours. Typically, it takes effect within 10 or 20 minutes, but it can take a couple hours occasionally. And then we want to add one more thing. We want to say, if someone goes to www, and this is a C name we want to add, um, we want that to go to your main site. So you type in your main domain here, bloggingcourse.us. That way, this handles the name bloggingcourse.us goes to that IP address, and then some types in www.bloggingcourse.us, it also will then go to the main site. So we'll hit add for that. So that's www.c name and add that in. Some sites will do that automatically. I think GoDaddy may add that automatically for you. Just make sure you have those two records, and that's it. That'll take care of it. Again, it's going to warn us it's going to take 48 hours, uh, but it really won't take that long. So in the meantime, we'll go back to Flywheel. And then one other thing you want to do is uh, you want to wait until this takes effect. This is too quick now. You can check DNS status saying, hey, is it you see it pointing to you yet? And saying, no, I don't see it. Uh, so again, after 20, 30 minutes, maybe an hour or two, those should light up green. And at that point, it says site is not secure. And so you can make it secure. You can say enable SSL. So just click on that. Um, it's a free SSL they, they provide for you. It's warning not to do it now. But just click the green button or say complete SSL setup. It'll take it perhaps five minutes and get that taken care of. And your site will be up and running, and then the next steps will be actually getting some good content on there.